here's another Saint Petka church. Sweater Petka. Closed. Either way, it's not a very old one. I guess it can continue to more scenic ones. But yeah, nice nonetheless. Little house next to it. Interesting. Looks kind of cool from this angle with the clouds. The house. The cross. There's a place for barbecue. But I guess in summer it's a lot more fun to be here than right now. It's a pretty rough uh, village here, Golama Rakavica. Just kinda has a rough edge, as you can see. Like partly abandoned. And a bit, uh, well, there's no maintenance whatsoever, but I'm interested in the church tower there, which is also abandoned. But it looks kinda cool. Let's check it out once I get through this mud. Up there, it looks very scenic like this. So here's the village, Kulama Rakavica, which means like big glove in old language. There's a lower and an upper village. Here's a school, which is interesting because the roof has been renovated some 10 years ago. But now it's entirely closed and abandoned. That's a shame. But the interesting thing is here, this abandoned church. Next to it is for the electricity, to have a post. But I like this uh, decaying tower. I want to check it out. But I guess it's closed as well. It will be a big shame. Yeah. Unfortunately. Often if you think uh, the main entrance of the Bulgarian church is closed, check on the side. There might be a little open door and uh, you'll be actually able to admire places like this in their abandoned glory. And I actually really enjoy places like this because you can see the passing of time and that, uh, you know, the place is actually old. I hope at some point it will be renovated because it's a very special church. I suppose. It used to be beautiful and blue, and before that it used to be dark red. So I think it's quite an old place. Here's a little house next to it. This must be a place to hang your hat, perhaps. I don't know. Or a shepherd coat. No idea. But this is interesting. From here, uh, at the end of the 19th century, I really don't know. Although I understand the words, I don't know the context anyway. There's nothing here. Interesting, there are so many contrasts in this place. There's a church toilet, just a hole in the ground. Door slamming open and closed by the wind. And here's the actual, well, main door of the church but often they use a side entrance I don't know why that is but uh, yeah you can see the church is really it's bursting and it's not without risk to walk here with such heavy wind because things can just fall apart easily from the roof or whatever you gotta be a bit careful yeah it's closed ah oh, that's unfortunate Here's the bell tower. It's interesting. Yeah, so old all of this. It's a shame that it's in this state.
that's cool. We see the village. The school. Obviously. Isn't Bulgaria just very scenic? Despite the rough edge, it is right. That's something to it, and it's exactly the rough edge that makes it the real Bulgaria for me. It's almost poetic in a sense. Though it's also a bit tragic at times. Such a big school building abandoned and all that's left is this plastic blowing in the wind. Again, like earlier on this trip, I see a water installation. It might have been a water source at some point. Now it's full, filled with trash. Not even gonna show you. But uh, again, the same construction. It's the second one I see. Interesting. From the same year, 1929. So almost 100 years old. It's quite nice. But let's get back to the car.